Hey fishing friends, JC here with Rad Reeling Fishing. Hey, I'm over here fishing on the East Coast with Jetty Rocks, Mike D. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. I put a link to it up here in the video. I'll also put it one in the description area as well. Uh, Mike is so close to a thousand subscribers, you guys. Let's blow up his channel, get him up there to a thousand subscribers where he needs to be so his channel can really take off. You won't be disappointed. He offers a lot of diversity in his channel. Uh, great fish in action. He was a commercial fisherman, a lot of knowledge about catching fish and catching cooks and cleaning fish and catching all kinds of stuff the guy knows this stuff so please go over there and just subscribe to his channel but this is day one of fishing with Mike D and yeah I want to do something just a little bit different today and that is I want to kind of like bring in the whole experience of what it's like to fish over here on the East Coast with Jetty Rocks Mike D and his daughter summer now every day they would pick me up down here at the boat ramp and it would be before the sun would even come up the plan was always to pick me up here now getting between here and offshore it, it would take about probably 20 minutes for us to get from the boat dock to offshore and once we'd get out there there was just an absolute beautiful sunrise and you guys know I'm, I'm from the west coast so to see a sunrise on the east coast is different and I absolutely loved it so we'd run probably a half hour to get out to the fishing spot and the first thing you do is when you get out there is you're you're trying to find the structure you're you're on the numbers that you've got in your equipment you know the structures there but you need a depth finder so that you can make sure that you get right on the ledge or the best part of the structure out there and so that was our challenge we didn't have the depth finder working we get out there and the first thing is is to find the structure drop the anchor i just saw a flying fish you see him yeah he was like went right under the bow And then Summer's job was always to catch the bait. Summer's just the best. She just, she knows how to catch, she is just like, she catches more fish than me and Mike put together. Let's put it that way when she's out there. And uh, yeah, she she is definitely the girl that catches the grunts. I think this side better with grunts, but when you reel up a grunt, you go really fast because there's a cute coot in there. You just put a little piece on like that? Um, you can do bigger pieces because they will eat bigger piece than that okay they eat little pieces and bigger you put a whole shrimp on a whole shrimp all right got it did he hit it? <laughs> oh my god he doesn't even know he's hooked man he does now oh my god oh. he come off yeah he came off dang it man <laughs> So once we get some grunts going, what we were doing is using grunts for cut bait. And so we, we get our big rigs and uh, we drop the big rigs down with the cut bait. And that's what we'd be fishing with. But the other step was, is always to get a flat line going out behind the boat. Now the flat line is the spinning rod that my spinning rod has 50 pound braid on it. And we use a shock leader of 80 pound test, about three feet long of monofilament, and then a wire leader that's about a foot and a half long on that with a seven aught hook. Now on that line, we put a Spanish sardine or a cigar minnow, throw that, that out the back of the boat, and the flat line, you're gonna you're gonna catch, you know, maybe maybe a, a barracuda or a shark or a king mackerel, uh, bonito hit a flat line. So those are the kind of fish that on the flat line, you just have that one out there just drifting around in the current, and it's moving around at different depths and in, uh, in different areas as the boat swings around into different places, and uh, so it covers a lot of different area in the water, and so we'd always have a flat line. And my favorite sound was when that flat line would go off when it when a fish would hit it that is one of the most exciting moments of the day there you go Jordan. no i think it oh no it, 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 Yeah. 
shark. Yeah, we got us a good fight here. All right. I think it's a sharpness. Is it a sharpness? Uh, he's getting in my other line that I had hanging out there. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah. Awesome man. Awesome. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he, cut off, he cut off my bottom rig. Dang it. So now the bottom rig that we're fishing with, you guys need to check out Mike D's video on how to rig for red snapper. In that video, he goes through the whole process of doing the bottom rig. But the bottom rig that we're using has 40 pound test monofilament line with 80 pound test leader a seven aught hook with a four ounce weight and that's what we're using fishing on the bottom <sighs> big shark. shark that's a good one there Sharks are pretty in the water. another shark but then when you see them right next to you they might kill you Nice yeah. There's too many sharks. Like all there is. Bless you, Summer. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Shark City. <laughs> Woo! All right. Sharked again. And uh, most of the time we were fishing with cut bait. And uh, the first couple days, the last day, we ended up fishing with a little bit of live bait. And uh, Mike ended up catching his gigantic snapper on a live bait. But uh, anyway, yeah, we are here in day one. And uh, yeah, this first day was tough, you know, because we the transducer wasn't working on the depth finder. Mike kept trying to have to work on that thing. Man, he, he just worked so hard to make this fishing trip a success, you guys. All the work that he did in preparation for the trip, putting the boat in the water, taking the boat out of the water, I'm so grateful for him again invite me to come over here and fish with him and uh but yeah that that darn death finder wasn't working and he kept having to go back there and trying to get the transducer to work on the depth finder and uh funny thing is is he'd get it to work and it would work when he was going in forward but when he would put the boot boat in reverse he would lose the depth finder so it was hard for him to know exactly when we were anchored down exactly on the part of the structure that he wanted to be anchored down on but uh you know what we did good man we caught some red snapper the first day caught some sharks and uh just had an absolute blast catching fish well, listen you guys so that's the experience then we would head in we'd really fish from like sun up until about 12 o'clock one o'clock and uh then we'd come back in now this first day we cut it short we actually quit i think at about 11 o'clock we had storms rolling in we were trying to outrun storms the fishing was bad and uh yeah we were just having an off day so we came in a little bit early but pretty much every day we would fish from sunrise until you know 11 12 1 2 o'clock and then we'd come in and just be absolutely beat from the heat and working so hard to catch fish but it's been an absolute blast out here fishing with with mike d jetty rocks make sure you subscribe to his channel and you guys thumbs up are always appreciated get out there and go fishing life is fun man you gotta live it see ya